Well, here we are getting one last dump load of dirt. We have uh, our pad here and uh, we're working this pad area. As you can see, we're over here on the lake and we got these two halves spread apart so we can build this up. We only need to build it up like about maybe six or eight inches. And we got one last dump load here that now he's going to uh, spread out just so we're up and no water puddles underneath the home. That's the important thing here is the water either drains off toward the street, which is that way, or it drains off down the embankment and into the lake. And you just want to make sure you have a raised area, which you could call your pad, that the mobile home will be set on so that water never puddles up underneath the, underneath the home. That would be a disaster. You'd have mildew problems and everything in there after it's set. So that's it. That's today's tech tip on mobile homes. Watching this guy work is very interesting. This guy knows his machine very, very well. You could spread that last load in like five minutes. It's crazy how fast that is. So once he gets that flattened out and packs this down really good by driving over it, then uh, he's gonna pick those homes up and move them into place. He'll change that bucket on the front and I'll put a ball hitch on the front and move that over. Move this one over and move this one here over. Okay, so we got this pad flattened out and it, it, it doesn't have to be completely flat. So it just has to be crowned a little bit on the top so that water would roll off and again, not puddle under. But uh, now it's time to move these homes into the center of the pad. So the skid steer guy just changed his bucket for that ball attachment. And he's gonna squeak this thing back and forth till he gets it centered over here in the middle of this space. Or at least not in the middle, but occupying the left side. So we'll get a glimpse of this. Got to move it back and forth, kind of wiggle it back in, if that's the word. It takes a lot of back and forth to get it just right. Then sometimes you got to uh, reposition and rehook up what? to get the right angle on it. That's what he's doing now. He had to reposition the machine so that he can swivel it and get it back even further. A lot of work in getting these in, in place. They make it look so easy. Yeah, let's go. Get it. All right, let's go. 
these these are the stakes where this is these are gonna go. We're pretty close. with that stake right there. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. Good. So home number one, home first side is in, is now in place. So now we're gonna hook up to uh, the second side. going to now jostle this one into place. A lot of work to get it inched over. Getting closer and closer all the time. Feet at a time, back and forth. Time to reposition.
about two feet apart. And that's as close as they need to be for now. Is that, that far away? So that's it. That's it for today, and another day we'll come back to uh, start the block leveling and tying them out. So now he's gonna put a shovel back on and flatten out everything he just drove over. And that's it. That's about as close as they need to be. It's right here. Over now.